Hi Gemini, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your August 2021 monthly tarot forecast. This is a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages. So guys, I would like to say welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for being here today with me. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. All right, let's see here. We have the two of coins crossed by the 10 of coins. At your foundation, I have the eight of cups. What does the sign of Gemini have coming up in the month of August 2021, please? We have the King of Wands here in the recent past. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. It's sideways, so uh, some of you may resonate more with this being in the reverse. Let's see what we get. Gemini. Okay, we have the Three of Cups. Wow, your cards are just shooting right out, Gemini. We have the Knight of Cups. Very nice. Okay. Wow, look at this. King of Swords. So here you are, no matter if you're male or female. Gemini. We have the Four of Wands. So now we just need a final outcome energy that you will experience at the end of the month going into September for Gemini, please. Judgment. Wow. Okay. So the overall energy for the month is the five of swords. Interesting. Let's see. All right, so we do have the Five of Swords. We have the Four of Swords. There's a lot of swords here, Gemini. Okay, so I do see movement. So for some of you, there was a fight or a disagreement. And this may have been a long period of time. For some of you, there was a difficult cycle. But what I see here is this is coming to an end. Uh, you have the Four of Swords. So... For those of you that are partnered or, you know, this was with a family member, a loved one, and a friend, there definitely could have been an argument and then a separation. A relationship may have ended for some of you. Others, you know, maybe you separated, you took a break. But I, I do see you healing, Gemini. I do see you healing. And then I see forward movement. Yeah. There's going to be a shift here. We have the Eight of Wands, the Five of Cups. If there was a loss, uh, I do see movement. Some of you may feel betrayed, but we do see you healing. With the Five of Swords, the Four of Swords. And so this will happen at different times. Um... You're ending the month with judgment here. So this could be you letting go of whatever this is, whatever happened in the past. And you just moving on, Gemini. You healing. We have the two of coins here crossed by the ten of coins. So yeah, for some of you, this could be a family matter. Could be a dispute over assets or property, something like that. Others, this may be between you and your partner. Maybe you're married or you may have a family with someone. Try not to think about this so much. Uh, the very first card that we had come out for you is the Two of Coins. And so with all of these swords, Gemini, that's really what I'm getting is, is you're in your head a lot right at the start of the month. You're in your head a lot. You're thinking about this issue. Um... For some of you continuously so just try to ground yourself we we do see you doing that here with the four of swords 
but you definitely could still be thinking about this. And you may have a decision. You may have a decision that you have to make in regards to this relationship. Do you guys get back together? Is it completely done? So yeah, uh, you could be changing your mind quite a bit, uh, Gemini. You have a, a little bit of the wishy-washy energy here. And you may have let go of of this this friendship this relationship because at your foundation we have the eight of cups which is you turning your back on on someone this is you turning your back on on whatever is no longer serving you some of you may have even moved and so you know if this was a relationship ending i definitely feel like this was a separation for some of you you may have moved you could have moved out of the house others this is you multitasking with the the two of coins here this is you multitasking you may have a family you have a lot going on You actually may be a little distant from your family. So those of you that maybe work two jobs or you just have a lot going on and you're multitasking, you're juggling here. Um, in the past, there may have been uh, some distance between you and your loved ones, but um, I do see you guys coming together. I do see you guys actually getting closer here in the month of August. So that is good. And if you're married, it could be that you and your partner were fighting quite a bit because of that. For some of you, you may be with the King of Wands. We have the King of Wands here in the recent past. So a fire sign energy significant here uh, in the recent past. So Aries... Leo or Sagittarius. If you ended it with somebody, it could be a fire sign. For those of you that resonate more with the Seven of Wands in the reverse, this is you not wanting to fight. Not wanting to fight. You want peace. For some of you, you're, you're giving up. You're giving up. You're walking away. For me, the Seven of Wands in the reverse is no longer wanting to fight for, for someone, for something. In the upright, this is you actually being firm. You stepping into your power. Uh, you holding your position. It's a very defensive energy, but um, some of you may resonate more with it in the reverse. The two of coins is a more flexible energy here and energy around the second week we have the three of cups. So I'm definitely reading for some Geminis where you are reconnecting with someone if there was a falling out with a friend. I do see you actually letting your guard down and um, reuniting with this person now you actually could be going out some of you are going to be going out could be going out on a date for some of you here at this time if you've met someone new or if you're coming back together with somebody for some of you this can be a long-term relationship or if you've met someone there's potential here you may be talking to this person quite a bit at the start of the month. Lots of messages going back and forth. Could be going on a date. For others, this is you reconnecting with someone. It's a very social energy. And then we do have the Knight of Cups here, which is very nice. Uh, and this is in the position of your power. So you, Gemini, you could actually be asking someone out. You may be asked out, and so you have an offer on the table here. This could be what you're considering. This could be what you're thinking about. So we see you moving forward with this. We see you very happy, more emotional here at this time. Still coming up uh, in your element, though. Very focused. 
King of Swords energy. You definitely could be cutting out the old. Whatever is no longer serving you, if you had, you know, dramatic energies around you, um, yeah. Some of you, you just want peace, you want quiet, and um, there definitely could be some communication uh, taking place here at this time. Those of you that are coming back together with someone or if you've been dating someone, I mean, here at the end of August, I'm definitely reading for some Geminis where you want to take a relationship to the next level. This could be something you're, you're thinking about. Um, for those of you that aren't actually doing it, this is something you're definitely thinking about at this time thinking about marriage, thinking about a commitment, thinking about long term. You could be speaking your truth here at this time. You definitely could be telling someone how you feel, Gemini. Uh, for others, this could be someone around you who's doing that. We do have some Aries energy coming through. So you may have an Aries around you. We have the Four of Wands here. And so there is some sort of event with the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands showing up here. It could be someone's birthday or um, some sort of maybe special occasion that's taking place here in the month of August, which is, which is nice. Uh, you may receive an invitation, Gemini, to go somewhere. For some of you, you're, you're definitely going on a date. I'm definitely getting that. And you may be talking to this person quite a bit at the start of the month. And if you were hanging on to um, any sort of like past resentment, for those of you that are coming back together with someone, I see you forgiving them. I see you putting it all behind you with judgment here. This is you letting the past go. And yes, some of you are coming back together. Others, if you were dealing with an ex, you definitely could be completely turning your back on the past, an ex, and moving forward with the new. For some of you, that's definitely how you're going to resonate could meet this person when you're out and about. You may meet this person through a friend. Judgment can represent you rising up from the ashes. And so, yeah, some of you are starting all over again. And this could be with you coming back together with somebody for others. This is you rising up from a very difficult time. Very difficult time. But let's do some clarifying. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful reading. You may be dealing with a Scorpio for some of you. We have fire, we have water. We have, we have air. And so you could be dealing with... Um, Maybe another air sign, a fire sign, a water sign. Let's look at the Knight of Cups, please. Can you please clarify the Knight of Cups for Gemini? Wow, very nice. Let's look at the Eight of Cups at your foundation for Gemini. Please clarify the Eight of Cups for Gemini at their foundation. Okay, interesting. Let's look at the Five of Swords for Gemini, please. Okay, wow. So Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you have a lot of um, past energy that is showing up here, and that is because some of you are reconciling, some of you are coming back together with somebody, 
without a doubt and then others it's because you're letting go of the past so it's a general reading some of you may resonate with um you know with with one versus the other you know this can definitely represent a marriage a long-term relationship coming back together you may have cut someone off we have the queen of swords clarifying this five of swords so you had enough of someone's crap it could have been that maybe someone was playing games. But we do have the king and the queen of swords showing up here, Gemini. So yeah, if there was an argument, a misunderstanding, or if someone was playing games, I mean, you definitely could have separated from this person with the four of swords. You cut this person out of your life and they're coming back in. Whether or not you forgive them is on you, but I'm definitely reading for some Geminis where you will. You're coming back together. Uh, six of Cups, Three of Cups, Judgment at the end of the month. You're definitely hearing from this person. We have the Eight of Wands. So you may be dealing with the Sag for some of you. This definitely can represent Romeo coming in here. And, you know, the Eight of Wands can represent you falling in love with someone all over again. Um, we see that with the, the sun here as well. And so you may have let go of someone from your past Gemini that you loved, but they're coming back in. And maybe, you know, maybe you didn't think that this was possible. But for some of you, it could be falling um, back in love with somebody absolutely without a doubt this is you healing though this is you completely getting over whatever happened in the past you're freeing yourself from whatever you had to turn your back on so those of you that are forgiving someone those of you that are coming back together you know if if they were playing games if they did you wrong in some way or if you guys were just simply maybe arguing a lot and maybe things got nasty, we see you forgiving this person. We see you letting go of all of that. Could be that you guys are going to be getting along, you know, a lot better here with this energy. You may have let go of a Leo and you, you have someone new coming in. You could actually be connecting with a fellow ear sign you may have let go of a king of wands and you have this king of swords that's coming in this person may have scorpio in their chart i'm definitely getting that but let's pull you some additional guidance cards it's a beautiful reading gemini it really is you guys have some some nice energies coming up really and there could be a nice event here. So maybe you're going to go on a date or there could be like a family reunion here with the Ten of Coins. Some sort of event that's taking place. And you may, you may be traveling here in August. Okay. Let's look at career for Gemini, please. What is the... Message for Gemini for the month of August, please, looking at career. You could be texting quite a bit with this person, really getting to know them, having fun. Those of you where this is someone new coming in, I think that they're fun. I think that you guys are going to have a lot of fun. Could be that they're your friend. Maybe, maybe you fall for a friend. Um, but I see you, I definitely see you texting them. Or maybe emailing with them quite a bit. I see you going back and forth with this person. All right, let's look at your love life. All right, Gemini, please. One last message for Gemini. Taking the card that's upright. All 
All right, so the overall guidance we have for you, Gemini, is actually education number 35. So there definitely could be something that you're learning. Um, if you do have a new love interest, you definitely could be checking them out. You definitely could be looking, you know, at this person, maybe online, doing a little research. Nothing wrong with that. I definitely recommend that. Um, yeah, for some of you, you're doing some research. There's something that you're going to find out here. Others, I mean, you could be maybe going back to school. That's not going to be for, for all of you. But looking at career, we have crystals. Your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. And then we also have body work. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. So this could be a field that you're actually getting into. Some of you may work with crystals. Um, you may just be buying some crystals here <laughs> in the month of August. Others, though, this could be um, a field that maybe you're moving into. Maybe you're a tattoo artist. Others, I mean, uh, maybe you're like a, a physical trainer or something like that. You might do um, massage therapy. And then looking at your love life, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And I believe Aquarius got the same card. So some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. And then we also have acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. So those of you that are coming back together with someone, maybe you guys, you know, had to learn some lessons. You know, some things had to go down. Um, and now you guys are coming back together, maybe stronger, wiser. Others, this is you accepting and letting go of the past with the Eight of Cups at your foundation. And you're moving on to the new. You're getting to know someone new. I see you definitely communicating with someone here throughout the entire month. So very nice, Gemini. Again, it's a beautiful reading. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, make sure that you are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. All right, guys, have a great month.